State Representative Tamara Grigsby regained consciousness in the hospital today. Some Milwaukee public school students have faced fights, shootings, and arrests over the past few months. Another letter was sent out, but when it arrived at the new address, Erdman wasn't living there. That's a violation of his parole. They're not familiar with the man at the center of this standoff and tell us he has no criminal record. Breaking news tonight, we're told a Milwaukee police squad car has been involved in an accident. I've referred to this in the past as the Jeremy Ross wind measure or thingamajiggy 6000, certainly not high tech, but it demonstrates the kind of wind we're seeing out here. All the parties are pretty much on the same page. I'm apparently Love making you. lots of friends out here. Thanks, man. We're live at Summerfest, Jeremy Ross. Fox 6 News. After touching down in Wisconsin Friday, Republican frontrunner Mitt Romney has been in full campaign mode. Well, if you follow the polls, you'll note Rick Santorum is following behind Romney. He's been working hard to close the gap repeatedly, slamming Romney in speeches. Police are searching for a man they say played a role in the shooting of an eight-year-old boy in Milwaukee. He may not have pulled the trigger, but police say he still put the child at risk. It all started Friday at this home near 8th in Burleigh. Mother's boyfriend is accused of bringing a gun into the home, showing it to the kids, then leaving it there for a four-year-old who can get a hold of it. That four-year-old allegedly pulled the trigger, shooting the eight-year-old. A neighbor calls the case alarming. And it's gotten sort of bad over here. Federal officials detected a 1.5 magnitude earthquake back on the 20th. The reports started to die down until another big boom Tuesday night. Now Michigan Technological University has loaned the city four seismometers and four specialized sound sensors to help experts better understand where the rumblings are coming from. So I think it'll help give a better answer. Now an expert who has studied what's going on in Clintonville says it is likely a swarm of small earthquakes swarm of earthquakes. That's a new one. I know. I've heard mosquitoes. Right. You want to know the incorrect answer? Godzilla. <laughs> Just oh. putting something out there, Justin. <laughs> we haven't ruled that out yet. Well, you, people say that all the time. We got to leave it. We got to leave everything on the table. Huge fan of those movies. Okay, guys. <laughs> I think Sorry. it's Mothra. I think Mothra is the one doing it. Oh, yeah, Good I remember reference. that one. Mm -hmm. They decided to make a shot into a regulation hoop from the perch of the Goodyear blimp, just to make things more interesting, yes, the blimp is actually moving. Go ahead, throw the ball, guys. Check this out. In the hoop. Beautiful. Wow. Good night. Woo! In between the stretch of road connecting Rome and Sullivan, Wisconsin, thousands assemble. Look at the big fish. We got some nice looking floats today. You're going to enjoy it. They watch and witness something in between madness and genius. What is that? Lunacy and laughter. Ah! Somebody got run over or something. Who cares? Anarchy and artistry. It's not a normal prank. If you consider Dan Voss an artist. It's showtime. Then his paintbrush is his bobcat. Faster, slower. Now you might have to just lower it a hair once it gets up four or five feet. Back her up. If you'd call Boss a sculptor, looks nice. Then he's welding and melding machinery Killer. into a not so perfect piece. <laughs> ready, roll out on display. PVC pipe that's all haggard. A Batmobile car. Double decker school bus, huh? Oh, yeah, I forgot there's a pontoon boat on top, too. <laughs> Welcome aboard the maiden voyage of the Big Johnson. Welcome to the 2011 Junk Parade. It's amazing how much junk people have. Something you don't see very often. There are dozens of floats, each with the theme. This is Junk Vegas. Welcome to Junk Vegas. Formed from a calamity of clutter, cocktail of adrenaline, engineering, and alcohol. There's a little bit of beer involved always. A mix of machismo, mechanized machinery, and did we mention alcohol? A lot of alcohol, mostly alcohol. We'd like to tell you this display is dedicated to the responsibility of recycling. But it's about being irresponsible. It's just about having fun. It's the most fun we have all year. That's how boring life is around here. But the community gets a return on their refuse. It's a good way to raise some money. Funds collected here go to the Sullivan Area Chamber of Commerce and local first responders. Oh, look at this. And firefighters are about to earn that cash. 
as a Ford F-150 disguised as a big mouth bass catches fire. A fatality? Bass is gutted, Casualty. but this fish gets hooked on a line and towed away fine. Success is sometimes measured in merely getting to the end of the parade. I'm a betting man and I have confidence in my junk. To make it to the finish line, if we cross there safely, we'll be fine. But it's a junk parade, you never know what they'll do. Redefining the phrase art is what you make of it. Proving one man's trash is another man's pleasure. Looks almost beautiful. Jeremy Ross, Fox 6 News. At a time of loss, some search and, I just want to <laughs> and find the words Say how much we are going to miss you. Expressing unimaginable grief. To pull our family through this. West Dallas's Tammy Glasgow was helping her brother in Cleveland, Tennessee. She was visiting, looking after his children and her nine week old nephew when an unwelcome visitor <laughs> tore through the area. We did hit their house. What the tornado took, my heart just dropped, can never be replaced. Just missed, absolutely missed. That happened and I just fell to my knees and instantly just started throwing up because my mother was my best friend. And <laughs> Messages of love are scrawled on a sign. Glasgow's son, James, says every word helps to restore a family's foundation. Now that I don't have her, it's gonna be really hard to have that support, but I know she's watching me from heaven. In her last moments of life, Glasgow's survival instinct gave way to her maternal instinct. She ran upstairs to get her baby nephew. She carried her nephew up to heaven. She protected him through the whole thing. And when they found her body, she was holding on to her nephew. Her nephew was still in her arms. A stuffed bear holding a baby sits as a reminder, a memorial to a parent and the infant she tried to save. In the name of Jesus, amen. amen. Tuesday, the family plans on attending the funeral of the nine-week-old. As for Glasgow's funeral, we are told that is still in the planning stages, but it could happen as early as this Thursday. There are the games. The sounds and sights surrounding the holiday suds. It's the green beer that did me in. Thousands hit the Water Street bars. A lot of people drinking a lot of alcohol with fine Irish music in the background. If only that were true. People have too much to drink and become argumentative, and we have assaults. Really? Come on, dude. Why don't you keep walking there, boss? Come on. Why don't you keep walking? You take care of him tonight, all right? People have too much to drink and drive, and they're dangerous. Milwaukee police count their numbers in a roll call as some try to count their alcohol intake. It keeps going. If they had a little bit too much to drink, we're going to make sure they get into a cab. Taxi cabs. I promise. You. I would never drive. Appreciate it. Policing the pavement, you'll find Officer David Gransart as he finds one violation. Can't be walking around with a beer in your hand, though. After another. You know you can't walk around with that, right? But you do me a favor. Go ahead and pour that out right there. You're not allowed to drink alcohol on Milwaukee sidewalks. So hopefully it's a deterrent effect that people look left and look right and see some blue and decide to uh, moderate the green. If you're not doing anything wrong, you should have nothing against the police. On bikes and on the lookout. Law enforcement hoping this holiday is marked by festivities rather than felonies. Happy St. Patty's Day! All we're trying to do is just keep people safe. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office says for the average weekend, they make 11 drunk driving arrests. They say last year during St. Patrick's Day, that number was 77.